The Eastern Range is an American rocket range that supports missile and rocket launches from the two major launch heads located at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and the Kennedy Space Center Florida. The range has also supported Ariane launches from the Guiana Space Center as well as launches from the Wallops Flight Facility and other lead ranges. The range also uses instrumentation operated by NASA at Wallops and KSC. The range can support launches between 37 degrees and 114 degrees azimuth. The headquarters of the range is now the 45th Space Wing at Patrick Air Force Base. Topic: History The history of the Eastern Range began on October 1, 1940, with the activation of the Banana River Naval Air Station which supported anti-submarine sea patrol planes during World War II. The station was deactivated and put into a caretaker status on September 1, 1947. Launches of captured German V-2 rockets had been ongoing since the end of World War II at White Sands Proving Grounds in New Mexico, but it became clear that a much longer range away from heavily populated areas would be needed. The Joint Research and Development Board established the Committee on the Long Range Proving Ground in October 1946 to study locations for such a range, with three potential sites emerging, along the northern coast of Washington with a range along the Aleutian Islands, El Centro, California, with a range along the Baja Peninsula, and Banana River Naval Air Station with a launch site at Cape Canaveral and a range over the Bahamas and into the Atlantic Ocean. Ocean. The Washington site was quickly discarded due to difficulties with support due to cold weather and remoteness. El Centro was put forth as the primary choice due to being close to missile manufacturers with the Cape as second choice. However, the El Centro site had to be abandoned after a wayward V-2 missile from White Sands crashed into a cemetery in Juarez, Mexico, leading to then-Mexican President Miguel Alemán Valdez refusing to allow missiles to overfly Baja. The Navy transferred the air station to the Air Force on September 1, 1948, and it remained on standby status. On May 11, 1949, President Truman signed Public Law 60 which established the Joint Long Range Proving Ground. On June 10, 1949, the Banana River Naval Air Station was redesignated the Joint Long Range Proving Ground Base and Advance Headquarters, Joint Long Range Proving Ground and the Air Force Division, Joint Long Range Proving Ground was established. On May 16, 1950 and May 17, 1950, Range and Base dropped the «joint» in their names due to a DoD decision earlier in the year to put the Range exclusively under Air Force jurisdiction. On July 24, 1950, Bumper No. 8 became the first missile to launch from the Cape. The Long Range Proving Ground Base was renamed Patrick Air Force Base on August 1, 1950, in honor of Major General Mason M. Patrick and the following year, on June 30, 1951, the Joint Long Range Proving Ground Division became the Air Force Missile Test Center and the Joint Long Range Proving Ground became the Florida Missile Test Range. These would not be the only name changes for the range or the agency that controlled it. The Florida Missile Test Range was renamed the Atlantic Missile Range in 1958 and the Eastern Test Range in 1964. The Air Force Missile Test Center was redesignated the Air Force Eastern Test Range in 1964, then control of the range was transferred to Detachment 1 of the Space and Missile Test Center located at Vandenberg Air Force Base when AFETR was deactivated on February. February 1, 1977, which put both the Eastern and Western ranges under the same leadership. On October 1, 1979, control of the range passed to the newly activated Eastern Space and Missile Center 
The ESMC was transferred from Air Force Systems Command to Air Force Space Command on October 10, 1990. Finally, on November 12, 1991, the 45th Space Wing was activated and assumed operational control for the range from ESMC. On the same day, the Eastern Test Range became the Eastern Range. The transition on the West Coast occurred one week later on November 19, 1991, when the Western Space and Missile Center became the 30th Space Wing and the Western Test Range became the Western Range. In 2014, Raytheon won a contract to operate the Western and Eastern Ranges for the next 10 years through their subsidiary Range Generation Next. In February 2017, SpaceX's CRS 10 launch was the first operational use of the Autonomous Flight Safety System on either of Air Force Space Command's Eastern or Western Ranges. The following SpaceX flight, EchoStar 23 in March, was the last SpaceX launch utilizing the historic system of ground radars, tracking computers, and personnel in launch bunkers that had been used for over 60 years for all launches from the Eastern Range. For all future SpaceX launches, AFSS has replaced the ground-based mission flight control personnel and equipment with onboard positioning, navigation and timing sources and decision logic. The benefits of AFSS include increased public safety, reduced reliance on range infrastructure, reduced range spacelift cost, increased schedule predictability and availability, operational flexibility, and launch slot flexibility. <laughs> <laughs> Location The range starts at the launch pads at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and John F. Kennedy Space Center and extends eastward over the Atlantic Ocean to 90 degrees east longitude in the Indian Ocean, where it meets the Western Range. The range consists of a chain of shore and sea based tracking sites. By January 1960, the Eastern Range included 13 major stations, approximately 91 outlying sites, a fleet of ships and three marine support stations. By September 1963, the Eastern Range extended around the tip of South Africa to the island of Mahé in the Indian Ocean. Much the sea-based tracking and many of the land-based stations have been replaced by space-based tracking, including the present TDRSS. Ground stations associated with the range are located at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida 28 degrees 29 03 and 080 degree 34 feet 21 inches W. John F. Kennedy Space Center, Florida Jupiter Auxiliary Air Force Base, Florida, 1950 Slocated in what is now Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse Outstanding Natural Area Jonathan Dickinson Missile Tracking Annex JDMTA, 1987 Present Located in the southern end of Jonathan Dickinson State Park 26 degrees 58 minutes 57.6 seconds north 080 degree 06 29.7 W Antigua Auxiliary Air Force Base located on the former Coolidge Air Force Base, St. John's, Antigua. Now, Antigua Air Station 17 degrees 08 14 and 061 degree 46 feet 33 inches Wascension Auxiliary Air Force Base Now, RAF Ascension Island 07 degree 58 feet 20 inches S014 degree 24 01 Wargentia, Newfoundland on the grounds of the decommissioned Argentia U.S. Navy facility NAVFAC, which is manned on an as needed basis for northerly launches. 47 degrees 17 minutes 28 seconds north 053 degree 59 feet 30 inches Wemager decommission stations associated with the range are located at <laughs> Airborne and sea-based tracking assets 
As recently as July 2007, NASA spacecraft such as Dawn have depended upon the availability of airborne and sea-based tracking assets associated with the ER to monitor launch and ascent. See also Ascension Island Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Damp Project Missile Test Project Pacific Missile Range Facility Pan American Airways Guided Missile Range Division List of ships of the United States Air Force Western Launch and Test Range Missile Range Instrumentation Ship <laughs>